let's go. All right, Dr. Gannon, how you doing? Look, we I just found something really interesting. So we're gonna do the advantage arrest, you know, the bond strength you wanted us to test. And I wanna show you this. This is really, really cool. I have two bond strength specimens right here, okay? Just regular teeth. We're gonna bond to dentin, okay? And I'm gonna put this one, over. well, I'm actually gonna do this on both. Now, Arthur here found out something really cool that I wanna share with you. So the first thing is we need to dry the sample because the instructions of Advantage Rest requires that the dentin is dry, okay? So one of the things we read on the instructions is that it said that it might turn teeth black. Not necessarily, but it might. Those were the words. So Advantage Rest, I'm applying it right here Okay, this is a silver diamine, 38%. Okay, and I'm gonna apply it on both teeth, on both. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it on this one, right here. Okay, and I'm gonna apply it on this one. So the instructions say apply it and then dry it. All right, I guess to evaporate solvent. Okay, so I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna dry it from far away so I don't you know, just remove all the product from the, de from the tooth surface. I'm just making sure I dry it all off. I'm looking at here, I I'm doing full evaporation, Dr. Ken. I'm not doing the whole like, wait until there is no movement kind of thing. I'm just doing full evaporation right there. I don't leave, so as you could see, tooth still, you know, it's not black. So, I want to do this one right here. So, I'm going to use Aubon U, Dr. Cannon, on one of the samples. I'm going to dispense Aubon U, okay? And I'm going to use a micro brush. And I'm going to just apply Aubon U to the surface. Okay? Follow the instructions, which is to scrub that thing. You know, I like evaporate the solvent a little bit. And apply it again. Now, it definitely doesn't wet the same as it would wet the, uh, like on dentin, but I'm still applying it, you know, and I'm scrubbing it and whatnot. And I'm going to, again, evaporate the solvent. Now, up on you needs to be light cured for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna set up this curing light for 10 seconds. And I'm gonna hit it, okay? Again, we're doing this all at once. I'm gonna hit it with a light, 10 seconds. Done? Look at that. That is insane. So my, and my question is, is it, is it the adhesive? You know, the interaction, what not? So it looks like burn, like it's burn. Now I, I'm gonna cure it on here on this side. Like, you know, I cured just like the coronal part, but I'm curing everywhere because I remember I applied the silver diamond to the whole surface, so the whole surface turns black. Now, if I take a micro brush and I brush this away, it gets like funky. Now, here's the thing, Dr. Ken. This one has silver diamine also. I applied it on both. This has no adhesive. Now, Arthur here, who seems to be kind of like smart, he's legit, said, what if it's the light? So this has no adhesive, okay? So I want to hit it with a light. Now, just silver diamine, 
That is insane. So it is the light. Or maybe it's the heat created by the light. I don't know. I'm going to start looking for like a hair dryer that maybe we have here at Bisco. Just apply heat to it. But the light is definitely doing this. So maybe like if you apply silver diamine and then just place like a regular glass cyanamide does, that doesn't need to be light activated. And then you have something going on. And it doesn't turn black. But as soon as you hit it with a light... Bye-bye, Dolly.